guys, it's you, and a welcome to what should have been Pokemon Showdown Live number 76, but I decided to do a replay, um, because I'm not really feeling any of the tears, and, uh, you know, when you got a match versus the Sorkinist, you go ahead and upload it, because it's pretty good. Um, yep, this is a match that I had, uh, in the Greninja era, actually, so it's been forever since we had this match. He probably doesn't even know that I'm gonna upload this, but, you know, now he does. <laughs> um... Yeah, so Mons has just been getting really stale for me lately. I had a uh, Smogon Doubles live recorded, but it just wasn't very good, um, and I clearly wasn't feeling it very much. So, you know, I figured it'd be a lot easier just to talk over the match that I've already played, and I could just do that. Also, shout out to Brian Altano for the music. Uh, this Softy Misanthrope album, uh, link will be in the description. It's an amazing album. It's an instrumental album, but, you know. Anyway, so uh, I'm using this fat Mega Slowbro team that's like bulky offense and Austin Powers air quotes so that people actually click on the RMT and not just be like, oh, it's semi-stall, but it's like actually a semi-stall team. Uh, and so I have, I built around a Celebi, Heatran, and Mega Slowbro, um, offen like, bulky, especially offensive Celebi with enough speed for Gyarados, um, Heatran, specially defensive and physically defensive Slowbro, and then we have Kunk Elder, which basically is here to check by Sharp. Um, we have our Bird Spam check in Zapdos, and Greninja check in Alamoa. He brought DD Mega Gyarados, he brought Specs, Sp Scarf Gothitelle, Specs Magnezone, I believe AV Azumarill, um, Life Orb Latia, Latias, and Spadef Heatran. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, he leads Magnezone. I lead Conk Elder. Um, I know he's just going to Volt Switch turn 1, and I can just knock off whatever comes in, because, you know, it's it's Gen 6. You click Knock Off. So I end up getting rid of his Azumarill's Leftover, or not Leftovers, his Soul Vest right here, which actually helps uh, versus potentially Heatran or uh, Slowbro late game. So we just trade Knock Offs in the first two turns. And I'm going to make the double with Zapdos, predicting Magnezone to come back out, as he ends up going out into Heatran. So, you know, either one really works for me. It doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, he goes out into Azumarill right here as I'm going to make the double again out into my Zapdos, and I was kind of hoping he would over-predict right here and stay in, but alas, he does not, and I just fire off a T-Bolt. Um, what I could have done right here is stay in a T-Bolt again, because I would have put him in range 100% of the time of Celebi's Earth Power, um, but unfortunately, I did not do that, um, as he just gets his rocks up on my Switch out into Celebi, Ends up going for the roar, maybe predicting like Nasty Plot or Swords Dance right there. Because if I had like Nasty Plot passed into Slowbro, that would have been really bad for him. But anyway, he just roars me out into Almamola as I just fire off a Scald, uh, looking to either knock out Heatran or pick up a Burn. Um, neither of which happened, but it's okay. I'm just going to go for the Protect right here to scout what he wants to go for. Ends up being the Volt Switch, so you know, this is a pretty easy switch for me out into my Celebi just because I can pivot, take this, as he ends up Volt Switching out into his Latias and Latias actually really troubles my team like a lot so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna switch right back out in the Heatran I take this Draco Meteor does like 30 some percent I think 34 23 not even close um, but anyway, I can just fire off a Lava Plume here because I will either burn something or he'll go into Heatran and his heat I know his Heatran doesn't have Earth Power um, so you know just end up hitting it with the Lava Plume Hitting the Azumarill with the Lava Plume, getting the burn, which is unfortunate. And I'm just going to protect here to get back more leftovers, leftovers recovery, and uh, scout his moves. We rack up a little bit more burn damage. I didn't really lose anything by doing that. So I can just go into Zapdos, because I know no two moves he can go for will knock me out. And I can freely roost to get my Zapdos up to about 75%, which is really nice for me. And potentially defog away hazards, which is also beautiful. Because what that does for me is... It makes us uh, switching a lot less, a lot less stressful. <clears throat> oh my god, a lot less stressful for my team. I'm coughing up a storm. Anyway, um, he goes back out in Latios, and I have to go out in Heatran. Heatran is my Lati check, um, which is why EQ Latios is you know, like such a big threat to this team. Um, but you know, it's it's I. Like, he goes out in his own Heatran here as I get up my Stealth Rocks. Um, wasn't gonna fire off another Lava Plume right there. And he's just going to get up get up his rocks right here as I end up roaring. And uh, just because, you know, uh, I didn't think he had earth power. He reveals that he did not. Um, so Azumarill ends up going down to rocks, which is fine. Just means he can't death fodder it later in the game. He goes out into, into his Gyarados. And let me explain this play right here. 
look at my team right now. Um, if he's sub DD, I, I just straight up lose. Um, there's no chance of me winning if he is sub DD. Um, so what ends up happening is I have to stay in and roar, even though this is my Lottie check. Um, Lottie is, it's either I potentially lose the game later to Lottie or I lose now to sub DD Gyarados. So he just ends up knocking me out with the waterfall, which is bad. But you know, I go out in a Celebi and I know I can deal with this. He goes out into his Gothitelle and this is where it would have been so nice if Leaf Storm would have killed. But Celebi is just too weak with only 100 base special attack. Um, if it had like 120, I think it'd be a, like a god tier. Um, but he just ends up tricking me a scarf as I go for the earth power. Doesn't quite kill. Um, but now the troublesome thing um, about this is that he gets to go out into Gyarados for free. And I'm a minus two Celebi locked into a 90 base power coverage move. So I got into my Conk Elders. He dragon dances. And uh, I can just click Mock Punch right here. It's really my only play. I get off 46%. And uh, things are not looking good for me right now, so I'm actually going to pause it right here. What I should have done was go immediately out in a Celebi and threaten him out, because um, Slowbro still could have won the game had I had something else to take a Draco from Latios first, and at this point his Gyarados is pretty much useless if I can pick it off with Celebi. Um, but unfortunately, what I do is I go out on my Mega Slowbro, and I fire off a Scald. I thought it would do 17%, um, but I'm not running enough investment for it to do 17% to Gyarados. So I just hit him with a Scald, don't burn him, so I end up sacking Mega Slowbro for actually no reason. So that was a really big misplay, because it puts me down 4-3 to three and in a really unfavorable favorable position. So anyway, um, I'm going to make I'm gonna go out to Selby, then make the double immediately out into my Zapdos. So he goes into his Heatran. Uh, which is just pretty lame for me to be honest um, What I could have done right here is roost um, But he just would have roared me right back out. And it wouldn't have really done anything for me um, So he just goes out in a Latios right here and we'll be able to knock me out with the Psy Shock. makes a good play going for Psy Shock and not Draco but now I'm forced out into my Almamola as He goes straight away for the Draco, but Almamola eats that up pretty well because you know Based Godfish, am I right? Um, I just end up going for the Toxic right here. But at this point, he's put me in a really bad situation because as he makes the double out to Magnezone, which was the good play without a doubt. And I just make the double out to my Celebi. Um, that was actually a really risky play on my part because had he Draco'd again, Celebi died. Um, but I didn't think he was going to Draco again. And his options were either Healing Wish or Switch to Magnezone. So right here, I've put him in a pretty unfortunate situation. Because I can just knock him out with the Earth Power right here, evening the score at 2-2. Two to two. Um, But now, he has the easiest Healing Wish of his entire life. I'm locked into Earth Power. I can pivot out into Alma Mola. Because I'm at like 58-ish percent as he ends up going for the Healing Wish. And at this point, it's a matter of... Can I toxic stall him with Alamola and how many times will he dragon dance? Um, so right here, the okay, I, I gotta stop and explain this play for a second. Because it was a complete 50-50. If he went for the crunch right there, he was risking a scald burn. If I burned him with scald, I won I won with Albamola. If he dragon danced right here, then Celebi would just come in and knock him out with the leaf storm. Um, unfortunately for him, he goes for the Dragon Dance, so Celebi is inside, and I hit my Leaf Storm. End up picking up the uh, W right there, so very good game, Sork. Um, you know, th this was... Th this took place forever ago, but you know. Uh, you guys should all go check out Sork. Uh, he uploads GBA content. Uh, he's in the league with... He took over Swagalift's old team. Um, he's a really cool guy, really down-to-earth guy. Um... He's helped me record some Wi-Fi battles before and whatnot. So anyway, um, if you guys did enjoy the showdown replay, please make sure to leave a like as we let us help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, um, which is... Okay, this is going to be a weird question, but what other content would you guys like to see other than Pokemon? Um, until the tiers get stabled out, I, I probably won't be playing a whole lot of Mons just because it's very frustrating at the moment. And I'm just not enjoying it a whole lot. But, you know, just let me know about that in the comment section below. But with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.